Summer is almost here, and today is the last day of class for New Hanover County Public Schools. I know those kids have to be so excited, but for students at one school, the end of the year means a special visit and a gift they'll likely treasure for years to come. With a cane in one hand and a special box in the other, Patsy Miller makes the trip to Castle Hayne Elementary School once a year. This spry 74-year-old is on a mission. Here we go right here. Where her grandson, Trevor Todd, teaches fourth grade. I'm here. Good, good, good. So what's inside her box? Okay, here we go. Dozens of tissue-wrapped bow ties and hair bows, each hand-sewn and stitched by Miller. It's adjustable, and that's a good thing. Isn't it? She's been working on them for well over a month. This end of the school year tradition began three years ago. The first year he said, I really would like to get the boys ties. And I said, well, we got to do something for the girls too. And then I thought about the barrettes for the girls. Todd, who's known for wearing a bow tie each day, picks the fabric and his granny, as he calls her, goes to work. It's a very special thing that she does and I hope that all my students feel that it's a very special thing to remember me and her by going on to the next grade level. Y'all are absolutely beautiful. This year's red, white, and blue popsicle design is not only cute, Wear bow ties. it's kid approved. You're a good bow tie maker. Thank you. While she likes making each one, it isn't easy. It's really sometimes hard for me to sew because the hand stitching that I have to do and each tie I have to do some hand sewing too. But I do it because I love to do it. And I put cream on my hands at night, uh, mineral ice <laughs> to help the pain and take ibuprofen for the pain. But it's worth it because it's such a joy. And to see those little faces and then to come up and hug me and, and thank me just thrills my heart. Every student eagerly waits to be fitted. Who's next? We got two more. And there's even one for me. You haven't got buttons, so that's just right. I got to get close to you. I'm not going to kiss you. Mm. Well, I could. Wow. <laughs> Once everyone has a bow tie or hair bow, Todd reads them a book entitled Mr. Bowtie. He slept outside our store. And his only friend was a mouse. It's about a homeless man that meets a family that kind of takes him under their wing. And it's just such a great story of, of hope for people that might be in a, in a tough situation. And of course it had a theme of bow ties, so I loved it. So what's so special about a bow tie or hair bow? I hope that giving them a little token, such as a bow tie, that's kind of a little more formal than their regular everyday attire will give them that confidence that they can look their best all the time. And if they look their best, they're going to definitely feel their best. While everyone gets to take home a special gift, perhaps Todd and his granny get the most out of it. I love my granny so much. I know she's not going to be with me forever. And I know that when she passes on and it's no longer with us, that I'll be able to look back on these times. And these will be the happy times that I remember with her. And I'll cherish the memories forever. I'm just thrilled to do this. It just thrills my heart. When these kids leave this class for the last time, hopefully they'll remember what he taught them. But the one memory they'll likely never forget is how Mr. Todd and his granny made this he fourth grade class word, extra special. But then he saw. Wow. Oh my goodness. Now you know why I'm wearing the bow tie. Ah. She's wearing the hair barrette. And all the, all the kids got a little cookie that looks just like Mr. Todd. I love it. Yeah. I love Granny so much. Isn't she adorable? And Trevor. I mean, she both is of a them. saint. That's why I've been saying on social media, she is truly a saint. She doesn't do this for any glory or anything. It's because her heart's in it and she wants to help these kids. Got a couple of pictures we want to show you. This is the principal of Castle Hayne oh. Elementary School. This is Sam Highsmith. At the end of our story, he came in and um, Granny actually fitted him for a bow tie. Such a sweet a, moment. An embrace like that. It was just a wonderful day. There are so many awesome parts to this story. I mean, it just keeps getting better. Even the storybook about Mr. Bowtie. I mean, yeah. And the reason that I got a bow tie was because you had one of our interns with you and she made a, bow, a hair bow on the spot for On the spot while, while he was reading Mr. Bowtie, Granny, Miss uh, Patsy Miller, uh, made the bow tie for our intern Cassidy. So it was just a wonderful day. And if you have great stories like this, we want to know about it. Email yes. our newsroom and let us know because there are so many wonderful things that are happening across the Cape Fear every day. And we want to tell those stories. Yes. Way to go, Granny and Trevor. He was one of our teacher yes, of the weeks. Yes, he was.